Welcome to the OOO Ozempic and Semaglutide podcast. Get ready to hear from best-selling healthcare author, Dr. Josh Luke, as he facilitates a discussion on healthy weight loss and living healthy. And now here's your host, Dr. Josh Luke. Hey folks, our first bonus episode of the OOO Ozempic and Semaglutide podcast. Uh, if you haven't checked out our logo, you can see how much fun we had with that OOO thing. And if you have seen the commercials for Ozempic, you've actually heard that song get stuck in your head. But uh, Dr. John Probst, a clinical pharmacist, USC trained, has agreed to come on and do a third show with us, just a really brief bonus show. And um, we're going to answer the question the best we can is Ozempic face real? And believe it or not, one of the first times I ever heard of Ozempic, I'd read one or two articles, celebrity drug 2021. And then one celebrity, I think was trying to throw another celebrity on the bus and said something like she was obviously on Ozempic. She had an Ozempic face and everybody kind of went, Oh, what's that? And so now when you Google Ozempic face, uh, you get all kinds of fun things. So is it real? And if you listen to our other shows, you're going to you've heard a little bit from Dr. Probst about the effects that the drug has on um, burning fat versus muscle. We're going to ask that again, but I want to read this to you. It's straight off of the Internet, so it has to be accurate, right? Rapid. What does Ozempic do to your face? Rapid weight loss while using Ozempic can result in excess skin on the face and the body. But we're talking about the face here, creating the appearance of sagging and wrinkles. The medication Ozempic and other semaglutides has made news for how it can distort the face. There's now a colloquial phrase widely used on social media for the change that can occur. That phrase is Ozempic face. So Dr. Probst put this debate to bed once and for all. Is Ozempic face a real thing? I think it is. I mean, the term that comes to mind is gaunt. You know, you just get this gaunt look and uh, ultimately when you lose weight that fast, and I think the stars, let's be honest, are using doses that probably aren't what they should be using. They want really fast results, really yeah. profound results, uh, in a short amount of time, obviously. And it kind of almost tells your body that you're in starvation mode. You know, you, you've got this, uh, uh, response by your body that's saying you're starving you know you're you're in this fed state for so long but you haven't had any calories come in maybe there's they're restricting calories at the same time so uh, again not not to single out uh, hollywood here but i do think there are some some uh, clients or some patients that that use it in a probably risky way it really does produce that that uh, ozempic face because of just the speed and the uh, swiftness as to how much weight is lost in muscle and fat, not just not just fat. So yeah, it's usually a sign that either you've got a lot more weight coming out of your face than than most people do, yeah. uh, or you're just I think uh, abusing the medication. I, I I tend to lean towards the latter. I think and, a lot of folks uh, sadly are, are pushing the dose probably for reasons that are are not uh, medical in nature. And one thing we discussed on our other show is that that one of the few quote unquote negative things that the early tests have shown, it's not a hugely negative, it's just a, it's more of a head scratcher from what I've read is that those taking the semaglutide injections are burning about about 28 to 34% of the, the fat being lost as muscle versus fat. And traditionally that's about 20 to 25%. So there's a little more muscle being burned on these injections than um, just fat cells. And, and that's another reason if you're losing muscle, but there's more fat staying that there's going to be a sag. Would you think? I, I agree. Yeah. The, again, the, the metabolic impact of these meds varies uh, patient to patient, but uh, as far as the ozempic face phenomena, Yes, it is real, and it is certainly one that uh, could possibly uh, be in your future. In my opinion, the caveat being, if you're too aggressive with the dose and you're really pushing for results that are on a timeline that's unrealistic and possibly not safe. So uh, not surprised that Ozempic face is more common in Los Angeles or the greater Southern uh, California area. <laughs> so you've, re you've referenced it a couple times, but um, I just read this in one of these 20 articles I have in front of me. I can't find it, but the numbers, the dosage was were 0.25 to 2.0. Would that be um, milligrams? I, I don't remember if it was um, what the. Yes. Yeah. And, and you even see higher doses uh, for, you know, Wegovy. So 
Yeah. Uh, again, the Ozempic is for the diabetics. Uh, so it's actually a lower dose for people who are obese and trying to lose weight. The mm -hmm. doses are actually higher. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you do, it is in milligrams. And I mean, ultimately, uh, when you've got, you know, the concierge type experience where docs are writing whatever for their patients, cause they got to lose 30 pounds in five days. And, you know, it's just one of these unrealistic timelines. Uh, I'm looking at myself right now hey, on the Zoom going, hey, I'm 35 pounds down. Is my face sagging? I don't know. I hope not. I got this beard to cover it up, right? <laughs> and I, I think if you're not doing it with enough water intake and you're not having enough you know, caloric support to that weight loss, because yeah. uh, I, I think uh, there are some folks that just kind of throw the book out the window and go, I'm just going to inject myself into oblivion until I've got my target weight. Uh, you know, adverse effects be damned. So, so we're gonna we're gonna answer the mystery once and for all that Ozempic face can be a real thing in some situations. If people probably who were carrying around a lot too much weight, not just a little bit too much weight, right? Um, I don't think if you're dropping the the twenty or twenty five or thirty, you've been trying to drop your whole life to get down to a heavy weight uh, or a, a healthy weight for long term. Uh, maintenance. Um, I don't expect to have it. I could be wrong. I, I might, but I think what I've read and what I'm hearing from you is it's if you're having this huge, massive weight loss in, in a quick time, that's when you're going to be more likely to see a little bit of sagging skin in the face. So, so Correct. the clinical description of Ozempic face, there you have it, folks. We put it to bed. Are you or I um, subject to potential Ozempic face? Uh, if if you are losing a ton of weight and plan to do it rapidly, you you may be more prone to that is what I heard, right, Dr. Probst? Correct, yeah, and again, results do vary. I think uh, you probably have two individuals on the same regimen. One may get Ozempic face, one may not. We're all kind of assembled differently, so. Well, but, and, uh, and last that, question. It is a concern for some. Last question on this, I mean, and, and just to be clear, folks, it's semaglutide phase. Ozempic was just the first one. And so, so yes, it's all of them are going to have this effect. But I don't, uh, this question for Dr. Probst, but this is no different than if you had rapid weight loss on anything, right? I mean, it's just, it's kind of a term because this is the new diet, right? Like it, you could have done this on the South Beach diet 20 years ago if you dropped 60 pounds in three weeks. Correct. Yeah. Massive caloric deficit in a short amount of time. Again, kind of tricking the body to think you're yeah. in starvation mode, really. Uh, uh, yes, that 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 any, anytime you lose a lot of weight in a short amount of time, uh, that's not a very safe or, or desirable uh, method, in my opinion. There you go. That's an emphatic statement to end the show. I'm going to put him on the spot here and ask him for a favorite meal. I, I uh, We always end the show this way. Let's end the bonus show that way, too. Give us one more of your favorite uh, things to eat, a healthy meal. Well, anybody who's tried to lose weight knows that it's all about some grilled chicken breast. And, you know, a little seasoning is, is the key. Uh, and I, I like a little bit of carb, you know, with my chicken, you know, because the protein's good. But I, I, I still am a bit of a carb not so give me a little gluten-free pasta uh, my daughters are celiac so we we love gluten-free uh products in our in our dinner menu so a little gluten-free pasta usually just kind of keep it simple with you know some herbs and some butter and then i'm a seasonal uh veggie fan or if you really want to throw in a little bit of sugar some some fruit you know some some mango or some melon can't mm -hmm. go wrong there with a little bit of carb a little bit of protein and then you know, the, the veggie and the fruit, you know, it looks like that nutrition, you know, pyramid, although they've thrown that out the window, I think recently too. So, <laughs> All right. Well, Hey, thanks again for joining us. We're going to have you back in a few months, update you on, uh, on my progress, my wife's progress on uh, just new developments on the semaglutides. Thanks for just helping our listeners understand that these medications are safe that these medications uh, may have some side effects, which is a different show and that Ozempic face can and is a real thing in some cases. So thanks again, Dr. Probes. Anytime. Thanks, Josh. You've been listening to the OOO Ozempic and Semaglutide podcast. Dr. Josh Luke is a PhD, but not a medical doctor. And none of his comments or comments of his guests are intended to be medical advice. Make sure to like, follow, share, and subscribe to the podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Thanks so much for listening, and we'll be back soon with a new episode.